Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan and MrHardware.com to do a quick demonstration of how to roll a screen with nylon screening. You roll them with nylon, it's a little more forgiving. There's also aluminum screening. It's rigid, it bends a little stiffer, but when you roll it, it's just different. Some people think it's a little stronger, but the nylon's good for 9 out of 10 homes and it's easier for a homeowner to roll themselves. We have one demo out there on how to roll metal screening in a screen frame. Pull out the old spline. A lot of screens have clips. Put a little X on there or a piece of tape on there so when you put the screen back together, you don't lose the positioning of the clips. Same thing with the cross rails. There's a cross rail. Mark it because there's a chance when you take your frame apart, the rail is going to fall out and you are going to wish you knew where it was. We're going to use a new softer vinyl spline, a lot more flexible. It's going to conform into the track much better for us. This frame's lending itself to some four foot screening. Cut the screen with a knife. Now when I roll the first rail in, I'm going to do my best to keep just several strands of nylon sticking past the groove that the spline is going in. So when you roll a screen, you need to roll the opposite rail from your first rail when you roll it in. Otherwise you can pull the frame out of square and make it into a parallelogram. The goal here is to keep the screen square. So what we do is we put a spline in, not a whole lot, enough to say tack it in place. That's going to keep this screen from shifting in this frame. So now I can roll the long rail. Fortunately, we marked cross rail, rail went. I can 45 the corner because it's hard to cut the screen on the corners after it's been rolled into place. You can see as this screen is getting rolled in, it is stretching and pulling itself tight. Make sure the spline is driven all the way to the bottom. Now we can do the bottom rail. I pull this my tacks back out because I'm going to keep the spline all in one piece. Now this spline comes in different diameters. So when you're rolling a screen, it's a darn good idea to take some of it to the store and you now know that it comes in a multitude of diameters. These are the lift tabs. Very important that you don't lose those. Although good stores like Gilbert's Hardware, we sell them. And the spline in the track retains the clips. So now we take, we trim the spline. Use the back side of the utility knife blade to into the corner, get it in the corner nice and tight. Check this corner. Watch your fingers now. When you start to cut this, keep your fingers away from the blade. Don't keep your fingers here and cut in front of your fingers. Keep your fingers uh, and above the utility knife. I get to the corner, I'm going to push it down. One screen, nice and smooth, ready to go.